And out of tonight's starting lineup from your visiting Trojans, number 11, Jason Jean-Pierre, number 15, Quentin Champagne, number 31, Zachary White, number 32, Captain Ryan Rebensis, and number 35, Jack Estabrook. We go by Everybody, welcome to Staff Gymnasium again. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Chris Brazell as we get ready to give you game two. This time we get the boys' game as the seven and two Brockton Boxes host the three and six Bridgewater Raynham Trojans. And if, that's, if this game is what I think it's going to turn, it's going to turn into a shootout. Yeah, I think it'll turn into. I think it'll. I think it will turn into a shootout. One thing you got to do. Dis disregard the records. The records do not matter. Three and six, seven and two. Disregard that. I don't think it is. Gonna, I think it's a new ball game. Both of these teams are undefeated in the conference. Yeah, I think it'll be an interesting ball game. Don't be surprised whichever team wins, and don't be surprised if it comes down to the last second. Absolutely. All right. So here we go. We get ready for the tip off. Three official, three officials in this game. Yeah, we have we have Bridgewater in red and Brockton in white. And it's won by the Trojans. And our first possession goes in favor of the, of the Trojans. Is Pierre, who did not play in the Durfee game, trying to work it around. That's Estabrook, out to Jean Pierre. Whiting now. Ooh. Oh, and they're going to get him for a travel. He lost oh. his footing. And we'll have a change of possession. Yeah, yeah. Whiting, Whiting was looking for a pass, but but nobody, I guess I guess he was just a little shocked, a little lost. He saw too many white shirts in his face. Yeah. All right, here come the boxers. And bringing up is Blakely now. Blakely covered by Pierre. He's going to try to drive. He moves it inside to the big man, trying to finish. That's blocked by Rembenskis. Wow. 
As Rombrenskis blocks that one and Nichols couldn't finish. Now in transition, now in the Brockton end. That was Estabrook over to Whiting. Over to Rombrenskis from long range and hits. Yeah, Ryan Rombrenskis should be, should be one of the premier plays of this game, averaging 20 and 13 so far this season. Robinson kicks it all the way out to Blakely, back to Robinson, baseline, driving. Oh, what a nice move. He steps back wow. and hits for three. That was smooth. Yeah, that's Todd Robinson's game. Todd Robinson, Todd Robinson is, a, is an elite dribbler and, a, and an elite scorer. Now Estabrook thinking about working inside. He's covered tight, gets it out to Rembenskis. Rembenskis inside to Jean Pierre. And the baseline by Whiting, that's short. Actually long, I should say. Ooh. But Pierre's able to Six, pick it up. Five, four, three. Three seconds, floater by Rembenskis, won't go. And he gets his own rebound off the rim. No, no, now Champagne. Jean no, no. Pierre over to Rembenskis at the top of the key. Back over to Whiting, Whiting trying to drive baseline, kicks it back out to Champagne. Back over to Estabrook, around the perimeter they go, and Blakely almost had a steal. 10 seconds left. He's gonna try to drive, a little floater off the glass, won't go off the rim. Bad angle too, he's tightly covered by Blakely. Yeah, well now, defended. Absolutely. And very easily off the glass was Nichols. Nice. That's the Kim Nichols' game, he loves that. He loves rebounding and scoring in the paint. As, as you can obviously see by his size. Now Champagne in the Brockton end. Just underway here at Staff Gymnasium. Champagne looked like he thought he was gonna try to step back and hit a three. Works inside of Rembenskis, his floater and he's fouled. As we see here, Todd Robinson on, on the drive. A nice drive, but Vikim Nichols came in just in the nick of time for that basket. Yeah, that's on Nichols, his first team first. Just underway in the first quarter. Rembenskis hits his first. Robinson playing deep, and he hits them both. Now Blakely, covered by Jean Pierre. Gets it over to the big man, that's Robinson inside, won't go. They're gonna say it will stay Brockton ball in the Trojans end. Just underway here in the first quarter, on the inbound. Blakely, taking him on, making him more uh, GP. His fade away floater hits. Wow. And when I mean he was fading away, he was fading away, yeah, folks, when he really stepped off. He was certainly ball. fading away, and what a move by Diamond Blakely. Began with a jab step, then the, then the mid range. Now Whiting, uh, Rumbenska, excuse me. Champagne, over to Estabrook. Estabrook, thinking about making the move. Now he's gonna try to drive baseline. Walk kicks it back out to Jean Pierre. Whiting now, he's 10 seconds, almost stolen by Blakely. Champagne rolls it inside. Long pass. And trying to finish up the glass, oh. and he's fouled. Champ as in transition, Biddle got that in transition, and Champagne fouls him, so he'll go to the line for two. <laughs> Hits the first, and the Brockton lead is four. Yeah, Navon Reed on the outlet pass to Trenton Biddle. A nice draw by Trenton Biddle. Now he's, as he makes both of them the line. All right, so here we go now. Up to the two shots. Here comes Pierre now. Almost lost it. Well covered by Blakely. Kicks it out to Whiting. Whiting covered by Biddle. Tries to work inside of Champagne. That's a mismatch right there. He has to work that back out. And he lost control of the ball. It'll be Brockton ball. Yeah, nice defensive awareness by the boxers. Blakely trying to make a move on Jean Pierre. His floater, that's well short. Rambenskis on the 
on it. Oh, and picking his pocket and finishing. Oh, what a, what a, what a play by the big man. I didn't even see him come up. He came out of nowhere. That was yeah. Robinson. Yeah, yeah, ended up, yeah, ended up with an acrobatic layup by Todd Robinson. Nice. What athletics by that young man. Great composure. Now Rubenskis trying to make a move in the big Ooh. man. They have a foul, foul, I think, under the hoop. Yeah, as we saw here, it seems like yeah, Todd Robinson on the steal. Then lay it, and then lays it up quite fancily. Fancy. So we got some changes for the Trojans. Bourne checks in number 43, and now Darty number 33. Darty that Darty now, I keep on having to try Estabrook. There's a shot, won't go. Rebound, Reed for the boxes. He'll bring it up. Gonna try to make a move. Have a foul on the floor. Red 35, that's Jack Estabrook's first, team second. Now the inbound pass in the Trojans end. 321 left in the first quarter. Tapped out of bounds by the Trojans. It'll stay Brockton ball. A long outlet pass to Blake. Top of the key covered by Jane P. He's gonna try to float it. Can't get too much on it. And in transition, here come the Trojans. Jane Pierre, Estabrook, inside, off the glass, oh, wow. and he fouled as Bourne tried to finish. That was on number 43 for the boxers. Raymond Bento. Oh, okay, Bento, 34. I thought he said 43. I gotta pay attention. Yeah, it's yeah. the first. Yeah, see, it seems like he changed his jersey number for this game. Oh, he did for, change for his number, yeah. Number 43, yes. Okay. Now I'm with the pitcher. Lead is five now for Brockton. Approaching three minutes left in the first quarter as a double team Blakely and a steal by Pierre. Great move. Estabrook now, he'll take a jump shot and hit. Wow, nice shot. Robin has long and bet. Rumbenskis gets it. Tipped. Rumbenskis ends up with the tip and finishes. Now Jane Pierre now. Covered by Reed. Works his way to the top of the perimeter. Goes to his right. He might go off a pick by Rumbenskis. Nicely read by Reed. He'll try to spread the needle. Kicks it out to Whiting. Excuse me. Doherty for three. I thought, I thought that was Whiting. That was Doherty for three. Loose ball on the floor, covered by the Trojans. Trying to drive, trying to finish, can't do it. Robinson, Rabenskis does. Now the lead is two, just like that. Oh, they're working around the perimeter. Reed tried, I mean, not Reed, tried to work inside, stepped in front of Gene Pierre. On the floor, now Blakely, when it's all said and done, there's a nice look, won't go. Rebound Bento, um, Bento, he won't get it. And he's on the line. Blakely's on the line, will have a change of possession. It'll be Trojan's ball. Yeah, a nice, a nice read on the trap by the Bridgewater Rainham Trojans. And number 35, Jake, uh, Jack Estabrook, makes in the mid range. All right, here comes Bourne now. He's leading the offense here. 136 left in the first quarter and a 2-0, a 13-11 lead. Rumbunska's shot, Rumbunska's shot won't go. Rebound Brockton. In comes Blakely. Oh. They're gonna get him for the carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, an, that's an interesting call, it's an interesting call. Timeout, timeout, Trojans. 125 left in the first quarter. Your score, Trojans 13, Boxers 11. We'll stay right here as you look at the Trojans bench. And they have come from behind. At one time, I believe the lead was six at one time for the Boxers. But with the athleticism and the ability the Boxers have, I'm telling you right now, Coach Robert Bowen, it's turning heads with the words that are coming out of his mouth about the ability that we're not showing late in this first quarter. I think we're going to see a different Brockton team. Yeah, I think we're going to see a different Brockton team. Um, definitely go, definitely go with an interesting, an interesting um, 
round of substitutions for Coach Bone. He's definitely going to need it against this team. Definitely going to need it. Yeah, the, yeah, the Bridgewater Rainhill Trojans, they really, they really felt, they really felt, they found that they, they, they begin to find themselves to be more comfortable in this game now, now that they, now that they have a two-point lead. All right, but you know what? With the ability of Reed, Robinson, Nichols, Blakely, and now you get Bento in there, and I think, let's see, we'll, we'll see how Brockman comes out of the break, who they're going to have on the court with a minute 25 exactly. left in the first. Yeah, and, and both of these teams are evenly matched in, in terms of height, ability, and skill, so this is, this is, this is a good matchup. Well, Lane checks in now for Brockman. It looks like the boxes, I mean, excuse me, the Trojans are going to stay with their five. So Lane is in, and so is number 31, Olua, am I saying that right? Olua. Olua. And Olua picks the pocket just as I call his name. Let's see if he finishes. He moves over to Reed up the glass. Too strong. He gets his own rebound. He tries to finish. And he's, and he's fouled by Rembenskis. And that was subject to, if you're under the hoop looking, I don't know, it looked like he got all ball. But then again, he definitely had to hit some part of his body to yeah. lose control of the ball. Yeah, probably, so. Yeah. With that being said, both teams are at three uh, team fouls. As Mr. Reed will take his first, hits that one. And now he has a chance to tie it up with 106 left in the first quarter. Hits him, we're tied. On the inbound, Bourne now bringing it up. Covered by Ola, right? Olu, Olu. Olu. Noah Olu. Olu, Olu, Olu. I'm sorry, Nola. Ola. There's a shot by Bourne, won't go. Rebound, Brockton. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Rembenskis fell on a wet parquet. Well, actually, a couple guys in the far baseline lost yeah. their balance. And now checking in for the Trojans, I'm sorry, is Brian, number 42. Here's a look at this. And Avon Reed on the pass. Bridge Rodder in him was not, was not able to hold on to the ball. Yeah. We're going to get three seconds called on the boxers. Now 37 seconds le left in the first quarter, tied at 13. Brian. And that's Starty trying to get it out. He's double teamed. Oh, wow. Nice play by the boxers. Back and forth, but now Champagne recovers. Double teamed, worked it over the side. Wow, nice. To try to finish up the glass, and he's fouled. What a shot as wow. King comes in. Colby King comes in off to the bench after the timeout. Drives baseline and finishes. He has a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, Colby King, a senior with a senior move right there. Nice. Yeah, Bridgewater Hand did a great job of protecting the basketball, preventing any steals, and Kobe King with a confident layup. Nice, nice two points. Lee he misses a he misses a chance for a three-point play. All of them. They're gonna say it was out on all of them. No, I'm not gonna say it's, it was out on the Trojans. I'm sorry. So it'll be boxes ball as Parent now will inbound it for the boxers with 12.4 tenths of a second left in the first quarter and a Trojan two-point lead. Oh, over to Parent. Baseline, he was trying to drive. Now top of the game, Olu, oh, his look. Rim won't go, rebound. And that's how the first quarter will end with your score, the Trojans 15. The boxers 13, we'll stay right here. What a great game, just like we back and forth in this first quarter, just like we thought, Chris. Yeah, just like we thought. As I said, both of these teams are evenly matched in skill, height, and, uh, and ability. Just continue, just expect this for the remaining half as well, and, and for this quarter. It's funny how the, how the staff of the Trojans, and I believe that was Derek Perry, the assistant coach, and a couple of the other assistant coaches asking, hey, it's our ball, right? It's our ball. Yeah. So they're already, so they can strategic, strategically see how they want to come out of this, uh, at, coming out of this break after, you know, if you will, coming out of this quarter, to start the second quarter, if you will. So it's kind of neat how they strategically plan on uh, our ball, right? Okay, we're going to do this, come on, let's try this on the, on, on the start the second quarter. Yeah, I think this is, yeah, I think this is going to be a low scoring game, um, low scoring game. But 
because of great, great defensive teams right here. It's going to be a low-scoring game. All right, so the boxes are going to go with, it looks like they're going to go with Parent. And they're putting uh, Robinson, smart move. Robinson's going back in the game. And along with Reed, the big man Reed, you cannot have him not in the game. He is a force. So on the inbound, let me just put this right here, I'm sorry. There's the, on the inbound, Ink Champagne now. Covered by Robinson, they get it all the way to Brian, back out to Bourne. Bourne baseline kicks it back out to Champagne, just on the way in the second quarter. Back out to King, King now. Eight seconds, seven seconds on the shot clock. Champagne thinking, oh, what a nice fake. He stopped, they're gonna get him for the travel. He initially made a great move on Reed and he couldn't yeah. finish his play, couldn't finish his, his yeah. shot. Yeah, it was great great thinking by Champagne, but just just didn't execute it quite well. Usually that's the sign, the sign that you're trying to make a play or something like that. And there was nobody there. There's all off three rebound Trojans. And Bourne will bring it up for Bridgewater Raynham. Works it inside. Oh, wow. King, no look back to excuse me, back out to Doherty. Inside, try to work it inside, and we'll have a change of possession as Brockton will inbound the ball in their own end. Down by two, Rembenskis checks in, and Brian checks out. That was a, that was a questionable, that was an um, unaware, that was unaware um, turnover by Mikey Bourne. Mikey Bourne's a ter terrific point guard. I'm surprised about that. Now Robinson. Ola, back to Robinson. Oh, he has a good look for three, and hits. Oops, sorry. Now in, here comes Bourne now, coming by Ola. Almost, went, Reed almost picked his puck. Little give and go, nicely read by Brockton. Now Reed. Robinson again from the baseline, won't go, rebound. Trojans on a break, here comes Bourne, he has one man to beat, and he tries again, that's wow. blocked. Great job by Reed, but right there offensively, was Champagne, he dished it to Ro uh, Rembenskis and they finished. Man, Rembenskis is a tall guy, man. Wow, how tall he looks to you? I don't know, I think he's 6'5", all the 6'5", or more. There's a baseline shot for Brockton, won't go. Trojans in transition. And that's Doherty now. Bourne, Robinson, Doherty, baseline shot. Won't go, rebound, King trying over the back. Good job by Hustle by Kobe Robinson now. Champagne was thinking. Bourne has a look from the angle, and he hits. Under six minutes left in this half. Reed with a little fade away. In and out won't go. On the rebound, covered by the Trojan. Here comes Bourne. Oh, he's going to try to finish on contested. Blocked by Reed. Long outlet pass. Off the glass, and he's fouled. Uh, Driving to the lane was Lane, <laughs> Isaac Lane, and he's fouled. I believe they're calling that on Champagne, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Isaac, Isaac Lane smoothly draws the foul. Can somebody clean this up over here? A chance to get more to walk. We have a clean up on the wall, please. Oh, well, looks like we have some water or something. So we have a little stoppage in play. It's an official timeout. Jean Pierre checking in for the Trojans until we get this thing squared away. We got a stoppage in play. So here's our situation. We'll let everybody know. 5:33 left in the first. The first half, 20 to 16 Trojans. Both teams have four team personal fouls. And the Trojans only have four timeouts left in this half and boxers have all five. And we can't fill them in any more than that until they clean the spill off the parquet. <laughs> right? I don't think they understand these officials aren't signing this game until someone cleans that mess. Yes, exactly, yes. Yeah. Someone call the custodian.
This game is just officially dragged on. Yes. That's the last thing you want to see is someone fall. Like, now that I think about it, and I thought Rembenskis initially fell in the first quarter, I think he stumbled back pedaling over his own two feet. Oh, but it did look from our angle that something left his feet, but I think it was just his uh, body English trying to transition from running forward to running back, you know, from back to back pedal to go into defense. And he just kicked his own foot under him, under himself. All right, so we finally have the, uh, the problem at hand all set. So we'll go back to the charity stripe and Lane will shoot a pair. All right, so here we go. Hits the first. And here's a second. Misses the second. Rebound, Trojans. And they run in transition. Gene Pierre now back in the game for the, for the Trojans. Covered by Biddle. Long look for a three. Won't go. That was initially Darty saved. Now Pierre for three. Won't go. King going to try to finish, and he does. And he goes, he gets inside a lane yeah. in position, was able to get that rebound. Yeah, nice positioning by Kobe King. Back and forth they go, Robinson. Over the lane. Around the perimeter they go, Blakely gonna drive him. He forgot to dribble the ball before yes. he ran with the ball. Yes. How many times have we mentioned that in the first game? Yes. Under five minutes left in the first half. Now Darty, covered by Lane. And he gets his pocket oh. picked. Lane's gonna try to finish, and he oh. hits it home with authority. Authoritative statement by Isaac Lane. Now Rambenska senses that back from an inside pass from Champagne, and the lead is still five. Blakely. Oh, oh wow. Champagne tried to steal it. Robinson all the way to the far side. Lane thinking about it. Draws two guys. Now Blakely kicks it back out to Robinson. Rambenskis on the rebound, and Blakely almost came with a nice steal. If he had more real estate there, here's a look. Yeah, Isaac Lane pickpocketing right here. Clean steal. Two hand slam. That's nice. You know what I call that when they hit it like that? Authority. Authority, yes. <laughs> and you can do that. That's with authority, in my opinion. Yes, it's a slam dunk, but it's authority. It's, authority. Yes, you're, you're, you're bringing that ball home. Right. Igniting the crowd a bit. Absolutely. Now Jane Pierre, as Brockton initially came out with a full court look, then they very athletically went back to the half court defense. Now Estabrook back in the game. They work it around Champagne. All the starters are back in, except for King. He gets double teamed on the floor. They're gonna say uh, Champagne lost control of the ball. It will be Boxer's ball with 3.47 left in the first half. Robinson now, over to Blakely. Back to Robinson. Getting double teamed, working to Lane. Lane all the way over the Blakely, almost lost the ball, high pass, trying to Working around, there's a nice look by Lane, that's short, rebound Rembenskis. Gets it over to Champagne now, Champagne. And the Rembenskis off the glass, nice. blocked by Reed off the glass. Another block by Reed. Here's a look from the corner as Biddle hits three. A nice three by Trenton Biddle. He has, he has five points this evening right now. The lead is two for the Trojans, approaching three minutes left in the first half. King trying to drive, he had to slow down because Biddle was, had him tightly covered, now Estabrook. Covered by Lane, kicks it back out, Champagne, Estabrook. I mean, Rimbunskis back to Lane, won't go, rebound Brockton. Reed thinking about driving, he slows it down. Pivots. 
Now Blakely for three. Won't go. Rebound Trojans. And Jean Pierre now on the break. Estabrook trying to drive base on. He spins. Oh, what a nice move. He actually fooled, fooled Navon Reed on his defensive end. Nice he move did. by Estabrook. The lead is back up to four for the Trojans. Now Blakely with a little float up the glass. And they're going to have a block on the, on the floor, a defensive block on Estabrook. His second team yeah, fifth. Isaac, Isaac Lane on the nice pass. Trenton Biddle had to had to figure himself for a moment, and now he hit a three. Nice shot. Nice three by Trenton Biddle. Good player. Absolutely. Blakely to shoot a pair. Misses the first. And Lane will check out. And Nichols will check back in. So Bourne will check in for the Trojans and, and King will check out. On the inbound, now Bourne. Covered by Biddle. Approaching two minutes left in the half. Rembenskis, his little jumper, won't go. Rebound, Estabrick on the offensive boards. Now we're on the, see what we have, we're gonna have a jump ball. Possession arrow will go in favor of the boxers. Officially 158 left in this first half. Blakely, all the way out the building and try to drive around Champagne. His wow. floater, that's blocked by Rambunskis initially, but on the rebound, Mr. Reed cleans up the trash end of the, Nichols cleans up the trash end of the hoop. Yeah, Trenton Biddle on the drive right here, but that drive set up Nichols, who does his game. Absolutely. Now Gene Pierre, 130 left in this quarter, in this half. Bounce pass, Champagne covered by Blakely. Kicks it out to Estabrook. Estabrook driving baseline, Alder and Benskis. We're gonna have a foul. On Reed. His first team six. Officially 126 left in the half. Born on the inbound. Estabrook, Champagne, too tight. Kicks it back out to Estabrook. Estabrook thinking, pivoting. Champagne was going to shoot too fast. All the way over to Born. They're going to have to regroup. Champagne for a shot. Off the rim, won't go. Tipped. And Jean Pierre was, was right there. He just couldn't grab the ball for the Trojans. Goes out of bounds. It's Boxer's ball on the inbound. One minute remaining. Now driving. Biddle lost the handle. Jean Pierre, they're going to have a jump ball. So possession arrow goes in favor of the Trojans. As we see here. Number number 11, Deshaun J.P. was not able to get the ball. Now, no look oh. as Rambenskis tries to drive, but he's, he's fouled. Then they call the block on Nichols. Nichols is shaking his head. He says, I got all ball. Officially 52.6 tenths of a second left in this half and a 26 to 25 Trojans lead. Hits the first. The lead is two. Violation on the shot. No basket. Change of possession will go to Brockton. And it comes Blakely to go back and forth between him and Robinson. We're actually inside. 
trying to drive, and he's fouled. As Reed tried to go up and finish, a little give and go, give and go, feed it to the big man, he drives and he gets fouled. Nice, nice play, nice play call by Robinson and Blakely. Absolutely. That's what Navon Reed using his athleticism here, drawing the foul. Hits his first. Reed has won, chance to tie the game before the half, and he does. 40 seconds left. There's .7 tenths of a second between the game clock and the shot clock. Gene Pierre trying to move, trying to pivot, gets over to Bourne now. It finishes. Nice layup, nice drive by Mikey Bourne. Yeah, 15 seconds of remaining. They're setting up for the final shot. From the baseline, won't go. Rebound Bourne, he's gonna try to get one more up before the half. Oh. Now they call an offensive charge on Bourne. So with 4.5 tenths of a second, this will be the last, the last shot. Two, long three, baseline, oh, hits! Oh, Raymond Bento. What a and shot by Bento. Bento made that look easy, and we're tied at the half at 29. So we'll step away. Chris and I will give you second half, first half results, second half action right after this. Everybody, welcome back. Dominic Damiano with Chris Bazell as we get ready to start this second quarter, second half, excuse me, in a very impressive way for Brockton to end this first half with that, with uh, Bento's nonchalant athletic <laughs> shot. I mean, and here's a look yeah. at it. Yeah, Todd Robinson on the pass. 
Uh, that looks so easy, so fluid. Yeah, it was fluid for his height and his, and his build and his weight. <laughs> that was completely awesome. We got some numbers too. Chris put some numbers together. Yeah, yeah, for, for, yeah, for some of the numbers, Navon Reed was four points. Um, Todd Robinson was eight. Yeah, right, I, I believe Ryan Rubenskis leads the game in leads 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 the game in all in all scoring. Yeah, he's doing a great job so far, using his height using his height to the best of his powers. Yeah, Rubenskis has uh, has eight yes. for the for the Trojans. Uh, Bourne has five. Yes. King has four, and for Brockton, Robinson has uh, Robinson has uh, eight, and that's all. That's the leading scores right now for the boxers. Yeah, Isaac. Yeah, Isaac Lane with four. Diamond Blakely with two. Viking Nichols with four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the thing about this game, this is look, just a lot of emotion, and intensity, and heart in this game. Oh it's, yeah. It's, yeah, you see the crowd. The crowd is packed. It's a, it's a big, it's a big atmospheric game. Yeah. Absolutely, it's next a, it's town a, over. It's a rivalry. Absolutely. Yeah, both these schools are separated about 15 minutes apart, so exactly. so they hate each other. So let's see. It. Right, yeah. and it carried over perfect into Thanksgiving. Yes. I mean, now they're both in the same conference. Yeah. Officially starting actually. The beginning this of winter, this year. Yeah, this winter, this winter. I don't think the fall counted. They, I think it started in the winter, if I read it right. Okay. You know, which, which league was Bridgewater Rainham in before? The Old Colony League. And oh, of course, we were in the big three. Okay, all right. And what they did is they moved Barnstable down to the Cape Cod League, and they added, um, excuse me, Bridgewater Rainham and Dartmouth in the Southeast yeah, yeah. Conference. Southeast Conference. Yeah. With my little quotes that people can't see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. We're Southeast Conference. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Again, there's your look at your halftime going starting the third quarter, 30 to 29 boxers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a one point game and it's a new round, the second half. Yep. You know, the same momentum and adrenaline that carried us from the girls' game into this game hasn't let up. This is absolute, this is awesome. Crowd, like you said, crowds filling in. No better place to be than to cheer on the home team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some Bridgewater Rainham fans as well. Oh, absolutely. And the big thing is uh, three officials now in in Division One high school basketball. Yeah. That was new to me when I had a chance to cover the uh, Durfee Bridgewater Rainham game. I was like, why is there three guys on the court? Yeah. You know. Someone must have complained about something. That's usually what causes it. All right, so here we go. The boxers are going to go with, it looks like Robinson, Blakely, Reed, Nichols, and Biddle. And Biddle. Yeah, the starting five. Yep. They're going to go with the same five they started with. Biddle, Blakely. Over to Robinson. Robinson thinking about trying to go around Champagne. Bounce pass, back out. We'll start it all over with Blakely. Blakely down the middle, back inside to Reed. Reed double team. He's going to try to jump. Off balance. Oh, wow. my. God. Off balance shot, leaning to his right, puts a spin wow. off the glass and in. Tremendous athleticism again <laughs> by Navon Reed. Now, Jean Pierre now. Champagne has a look for three. Hits. Uh, and we're tied at 32, just like that. Yeah, Quincy Champions has a pretty productive game so far. Blakely, they go around the perimeter, stops it. Out to Robinson. Robinson's his little jump shot off the glass, off the rim, twice and in. Man, man what a fine basketball player Todd Robinson is. Just so good. Good, good player. Jean Pierre. Under seven minutes left in the third quarter. He slipped for a minute, kicks out the Champagne. Now Champagne's driving. Baseline to Est, uh, Whiting, excuse me. That won't go. Rebound, Rembenskis. Kicks it back out to Whiting. Whiting inside from Estabrook to Rembenskis. Won't go. Tipped and taken by 
Champagne, that, oh, I thought that was a travel. Good recovery by wow. Champagne for the Trojans. That looked like a travel for a minute. But he was still bouncing the ball as he was sliding yeah. on the floor. Now Gene Piano trying to go around Robinson, his baseline oh, wow. shot. And they're gonna have a foul on the floor yeah. on Blakely. Gonna be a blocking foul on Blakely. As we see on this play, Jason, 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 Jason Pierre. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna call the foul on Blakely. It looked like Todd Robinson got the block, but they called the foul on Blakely. Yeah, St. Pierre's first shot hits the first. He has a chance to tie this game early right here. He hits them both. We're back tied again at 34 now. Now on the in. And Bomb Blakely, long pass to Nichols, to Reed, trying to finish. And we're going to have a... We're gonna have a foul on the floor. Let's see what's on. Rembenskis. He had to foul him, otherwise he would have a free chance to slam that home. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, here's a chance for Brockton to take the lead. Misses the first. It's funny, I just looked at the fouls and they forgot to clear it. They had eight and seven still under there. I'm like, that can't be right. We just started another half. All right, here's the second shot. Hits the, hits the second. Brockton has a one point lead, as you can see, 35 34. Six minutes officially left in the third quarter. Champagne tightly governed by Robinson, trying to go around him. Mm. And they're going to get him on a reach. Wow. Yeah, Todd Robinson wishes he had that one back. He did. He wishes he never put his arm out there. Inbound pass. Rembenskis on the inbound. I would not have him inbound the ball. But then again, I'm not a basketball coach. All right, driving. Oh. And they're gonna get on the floor. Yeah, Viking Nichols causing the travel on, on Rebenskis. Good defense. Good defense there by, I believe that. By Kim, Nich Kim Nichols, yes. Yeah, Nichols. Around the perimeter, trying the drive, kicks it back all the way out to Robinson and hits for three. And the lead is four for Brockton. Yeah, off, off balance and skill three by Robinson. Good shot. Now Champagne. Look, Rembenskis is turning around jump shot and takes the roll off the glass and in. Now Biddle, all the way on Champagne, stepped in front of that one. And they're gonna say he was on the line. He might have twisted his ankle. Ooh. See if he gets up. Yeah, Trenton Biddle on the pass, nice assist. Todd Robinson on the confident three, nice follow through and form. All right, on the inbound now, Reed Robinson. He steps back, looks at that defense, works it inside to the big man, Nichols off the glass. That won't go, tipped. And now on a run, here comes Whiting now, slows down, almost lost the ball. Estabrook stops. Whiting and hits for three. And back and forth we go with this lead. And back and forth, it's been like this the entire game. Now Robinson and hits. And Todd Robinson with a lot of points tonight, keeping his boxes team on his back. Now Jane Pierre, covered by Robinson, tries to go to Bourne. Oh. They're gonna say he was on the line, lost control of the ball. It'll be Brockton ball. Here comes Blakely as Brockton tries to add to their lead. Robinson driving his fade away from the baseline. That's too long. And Bourne's gonna try to push it. Trying to go around Biddle. 
His floater off the glass won't go. Rebound, Reed for Brockton. Now Brockton's gonna try to run. PR wanted to foul him. They did. There's Biddle for three, won't go. Rebound, Rabunskis and, ben and Bento got that one. And now Estabrook and Biddle fight under the hoop. They're gonna say it was last touched by Estabrook. Man, man, I tell you what, Dominic, just a lot of pride being put on this court tonight, man. All these players are giving it up. Great, great performance by all players. A lot, of, a lot of emotion. Absolutely, a lot of heart. 346 left. Ben, Bento shot, little floater baseline won't go, covered by the Trojans. Thank you, Jerry. Now Darty. I think it's yeah, Darty, sorry about that. There's a long three, ball won't go. Rebound, Rembenskis over the perimeter. Jean Pierre for three won't go on the on the rebound offensively for the, excuse me for Brockton. I got a little carried away. I apologize. Here comes Robinson now, thinking about going around Whiting. His floater up the glass, and he's fouled. He'll go to the charity stripe for a couple and add to this try to add to this Brockton lead. Foul number thirty-three. That's his first foul. Robinson's first shot hits the first. Extends the lead right now to three. Here's his second. Hits them both. Yeah, Todd Robinson with 18 points so far tonight. Doing playing well, playing well. We got some changes we're giving to you now in the game for Brockton is Ola, right? Olawu. Noah Olawu. 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 I'll get it right. I get all season to straighten myself out. Now Whiting steps back for three. That's short. Initially, well, he got his own rebound. It rolled. That's Brick stop. Works it inside. Rabenskis. Jean oh. Pierre around the perimeter. Born thinking. Out to the other baseline. Doherty off the glass. Won't go. Rebound Brockton on the break. Long transition. And now driving, and Rabenska slaps out, gives it to Robinson for a look. Won't go. Wow, what a rebound by Bento, wow. Bento right there, he just went through two guys. Now Robinson kicks it back out to the baseline. Here's his jump shot, wow. and hits is Bento. Yeah, Bento's very confident, very confident player. I like his playing style, I like his game. Looks, he just looks so fluent, so relaxed when yes. he plays. I just wish they told us his real number. <laughs> Timeout, timeout, Trojans. Your score, Brockton 45, Bridgewater Raynham 39. 210 left in the third quarter. Both teams with two team fouls will stay right here. And just like you mentioned, 18 points for Robinson, correct? Am I yeah. reading that right? Yes. Did I hear that right? Eight. Yes, 18. Yes, I got, yes, I got 18, 18, yes. That was impressive. The reason why I stopped talking is because one of the cheerleaders, they have a co-ed cheerleading in Brockton. Mm. This kid did like four flips all the way around. Really? Wow. Four, well, wow. I hear everybody cheering and I see him finish. They had to see that on TV. Wow. All right, so we come out of the break. Again, 2.10 left in the third quarter, a 45 to 39 Brockton lead in the Southeast Conference matchup between the seven and two Brockton boxes and the three and six. Very talented three and six Bridgewater Raynham Trojans. Very First. talented three and six team, wow. The best, the best three and six team in the state, Dominic? Close to, at least in the South Shore, right? All right, so Brockton's gonna go with Olawa, Bento, Reed, Robinson, and Bento. The Trojans are going to go with Jean Pierre, Rob, um, now King in the game, Bourne. And it's on the inbound. Rabensky is trying to finish. Wow. Let's say he traveled, but he did bounce the ball before he went up for the shot. So I missed that one on the inbound. Olawu, double teamed by Bourne. He breaks through that defense, kicks it out. To Bento from the perimeter, wow. from the baseline, and hits. 
Under two minutes left in the third quarter. Bengals two and two, two for two from three. Now Doherty for three. That's high, rebound Bento for Brockton. And Bento, wow. off the glass, that's blocked. King on, out to Bourne. And they're gonna try to finish. Oh, we're gonna, have, oh, we're gonna get goaltend. It's gonna be, gonna be a foul. I'll see if it's goaltending. I think it's just gonna be another foul. Call that on Nevon Reed. Second, team third. Is he calling? Here's yeah, a look yeah, at I it. I see this replay. Ooh, it looked clean to me. Ooh. Yeah, it did. Oh, man. Ooh. All right, so Darty to shoot a couple. Champagne getting ready to check back in, hits the first. Lead is seven. Now it looks like Lane is, Isaac Lane, yeah, Isaac Lane checking back in, and Olawu is checking out for right now. Misses the second, and it comes Brockton. I'm sorry, Olawu is in the game, I messed that up. Now Robinson, over to Lane. Driving is all the up the glass. Can't finish, gets his own rebound. He tries, wow. and he goes right around ben Rembenskis and in. That's a, that's I should a, say over. Olu has a lot of dog in him. Nice rebound and nice putback. Jean Pierre. And he steps in front of that one. He reads that well. He's going to try to finish, wow. and he does. Nice layup by Olu again. Consecutive baskets. A minute left in the third quarter. Jean Pierre and B and Bourne now working inside of Rembenskis. He's double teamed. He tries to turn around. Lost the ball. It's stolen. Picked by Olawu. Going to try to finish. He throws oh. it up off balance. And Rembenskis is there along with Doherty. Approaching 25 seconds left in the third. Tried to lose it in transition. He almost lost it there. Bourne wow. and Reed stepped in front of that one. And coming up and finishing ah. is Lane. He gracefully places it inside the cylinder. He wanted the dunk. Jane Pierre, you can hear him working back and forth. There they go from Benskis, but they do hit the basket to end the quarter. With your score, Brockton 53, the Trojans 42. We'll take a little bit of a break, but we'll stay right here. As I mean, we'll try to, you and I will try to catch our breath. Yes. And here come the chili. Here's another look at this play. Yeah, nice, nice pass by Kobe King and Rabenskis on the mid range. Kind of, kind of silenced the crowd a bit for that, for a bit. <laughs> and there they are. There are your Brockton High School cheerleading squad. It looks like Estabrook's going to check in for the Trojans. Now, no coach, now, no one coached Bowen's uh, style of play in the last 10 years. There's no such thing as laying off the throttle. Yeah, it, man, you cannot lay off the throttle, man. Bridgewater, Bridgewater Rainham is just right there. They will overtake this lead in a second. Absolutely. They've been, they've been playing, they've been playing fine basketball lately. Fine basketball up until this point to a bit. Yeah, if you coach Bowen, I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep Noah Olu in there. He's already a difference maker. I'll keep him in there. Or, or give him a or give him a breather, but keep him in there. I really like the starting five Brogdon had. It was really it was really great. They really took over the game. You know, they also had a very impressive bench. Yeah, that they be have five and then five more. If yeah, you think about it. Yeah, that that bench is well rounded for the for the coach Boone. Well rounded. Yeah, you know what I mean. Five and then five more. Let me slide this this way. I'm sorry. Keep on getting in your way. I apologize. All right, so here we go. As we start the fourth quarter, your score: Brogdon 53, Trojans 42. Boxes with three team fouls. Trojans with two were underway here in the fourth. Now Bourne. Bourne goes to his left, sees Bento. He steps back for three. That's short. Rebound King initially, no, but then picked up by Brockton. Here comes Robinson now. Out to the baseline. And Lane's shot is short. 
And Bourne on a quick transition. And Bento's right there to win a set that fast. And now that's transition. Here comes Lane. And we're going to have a foul. Offensive charge on Lane. Bourne was able to hold his position. That's the second time we've seen that in the game. Now Bourne. The lead is nine for the boxers. Bourne drives, can't finish. Bento. Long passing transition. Reed thinking about driving. He stops. His floater with his right hand won't go. Rebound, Bridgewater Rainham. Approaching seven minutes left in the game and a nine point lead for the boxers. Reed covering Bourne. He works his way to the baseline, kicks inside Rumbenskis, back out. And they're going to get Rumbenskis for dragging his pivot foot. Yeah, yeah. Another travel by Rumbenskis. He really got he to really put his mind in the game a little bit better. His coaches were a little furious at him. You got to love the spirit of both coach and staff. Yeah, a lot of spirit. Absolutely. All right, here comes Blakely now. Covered by... Champagne over to Lane. Lane covered by King, back to the top to Reed. Trying to go around Esterbrook, he moves. And Esterbrook initially tried to rip the ball out of Reed's hand in transition. And losing it, he was able to uh, knock it out of bounds. Inbound pass in the, Trojans, in the Trojans end. Little miscommunication, recovered by Brockton though. Blakely. Around by Reed. Five seconds left. Reed thinking about driving, will step back, working inside the Bento. Two seconds, there's a shot by Lane. Buzzer won't go. Rebound, Estenbrook for the Trojans. In comes Lane now. Born for a jumper. In and out, won't go. Boy, we've seen some of them today. Estenbrook tried to save, and he does. He wow. feeds the Rembenskis. Wow. He was fading out of bounds, was able to look over his shoulder and give it to his own guy. Approaching six Somehow minutes. That. Absolutely. Now Lane stops. Reed from the baseline won't go. Gonna say it was last touched. Gonna say it was last touched by the Trojans. Now Ola. Oh, excuse me, on to Blakely. I'll get that name right. Over to Lane. Lane covered by Doherty. His jump shot mid-range won't go. Rebound Trojans as Doherty brings, Estabrook brings that one in. Now Gene Pierre to Champagne, driving to his right. He stops, steps back as he sees Biddle in front of him. Back over to Gene Pierre. Now he thinks about driving, sees two defenders, stops, works it back out. Now the top of the key, Gene Pierre for three. Nice Hits. Shot. Nice that whole transition offensively was good. I bet that ball was going to hit us. Yeah. So Robinson checks back in. And so does it Nichols. Yeah, Jason, Jason Jean Pierre on the shot. Nice shot. Well, you know what it is. Coach Bowen can tell who's tied. He doesn't need these. Can't play five on three. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Now Blakely. Now on the inbound, right in front of the bench, here comes Champagne now, covered by Robinson, thinking about driving, kicks it back out. Estabrook to Robinson, to Rembenskis. That's teamwork right there, under five minutes left. Nice comeback by Bridgewater Rainham. The lead is still four though for Brockton. And gonna get a reach on Doherty. Reed will check back in. And Lane will take a seat. He's not happy with that. Inside, two, on 
Oh. Timeout. Timeout. Trojans, your situation. Fourth quarter, 451 left in the game. 53 49 Brockton. And we got a we got a burner going right now. Yeah, it's a burner. 451 left. Four point lead for, for the boxers. It really, it really just narrowed. The lead really narrowed. Absolutely. Oh boy. So Coach Bowen has seen his uh, lead dissipate a little bit in early in this uh, late in this third quarter and going into this fourth quarter. It's all on how you execute. You execute right, you can pull it off. You get the Rocky Balboa music going now. All the Trojans are going to go with Jean Pierre, King, Estabrook, Champagne, and Doherty. Brockton will go with Reed, Blakely, Robinson, and Nichols. And Biddle on the oh, inbound. Wow. And Champagne's there to pick it up. Doherty thought he was going to get his pocket picked. He stepped back to look. King. Bounce pass to Jane, Jean Pierre. Approaching 4.30 left in the game and a four point Brockton lead. Jean's thinking about driving, he stops. There's a baseline shot, won't go. King overshot that one. Here comes Blakely now. They're working around the perimeter. Biddle for three. In and out, won't go, rebound Trojans. Approaching four minutes left in the game. Champagne was almost thinking pass over the, to King. Baseline over, covered by Blakely is Doherty. All the way over to us, Champagne covered by Reed. Seven seconds, six, he's gonna have to shoot, he does, oh. and he fouled. Smart play, smart play by Champagne. Causing the foul with little on the shot clock. Absolutely. So he'll shoot a couple. Try to bring this lead down to two if they can. Misses the first. Rembenskis checks in too. Bento checks in. Another big body for Brockton. Doherty checks out. Bowen checks in for the Trojans. Here's his second one. Hits the second. The lead is three. Now Robinson driving, trying to go around Jane Pierre. He's double teamed. And they're gonna have a foul on Champagne on Damn. a reach. Can't do that. If you're, if you're Champagne, that was a clear foul. I seen it. He bumped into him while, while, while he was dribbling. Yep, absolutely. 3.36 left. King will go in for, for Jane Pierre. On the inbound, there's Blakely covered by Bourne. Approaching 3.30 left in the game. Biddle inside to Bento, trying to go around Rembenskis, kicks it out baseline to Blakely on the other side at the quarter part of the key, top of the key, excuse me, that's Robinson covered by Champagne, trying to set up a pick. Back and oh, forth, wow. and Bourne steps in front of that and will have a foul as Bento knew he wasn't gonna catch the speedster. Yeah. On the steal. Yeah, Todd Robinson was looking for Biddle on the pass, but it was intercepted by BR. Nice. Yeah, nice read by nice Bourne. <laughs> on the inbound, Rembenskis. Back over to Bourne, covered by Robinson, looking. He bounced pass inside to Rob Rembenskis. Over to Biddle. Now will drive his floater. Can't finish. Rebound Reed. A big rebound for the boxers. He's going to try to drive by himself. And they're going to call an offensive charge on Reed. 
Yeah, Bridgewater right here has certainly stolen the thunder. They certainly stolen the thunder. Momentum is starting to shift. Yes. Doherty checks in, King checks out. Here's a look. Yeah, Navon Reed. Yeah, offensive foul. His feet was painted. Nice. Yeah, he had nice his foul. position on the inbound. Doherty, Rembenskis, his jumper hits. The lead is one. Blakely. Biddle inside to Reed. Reed looking. And he almost lost the ball to Champagne. He regrips, groups, a little floater off the glass over Rembenskis and in. Man, man, Brockton was in, it, was in a spell and they really needed that. Now Champagne. Rembenskis with a no look feed to the right. Off the glass, the lead is one again. Approaching two minutes left in the game. And we're gonna have a block on that one. Let's see if we take a look at that replay. And here it is. It. Yeah, Trenton Biddle taking it to the baseline. Oh, he moved yeah, his feet. He moved a bit, yep. Good, good call by the refs. Absolutely. Biddle hits the first, the lead's back up to two. And he hits them both. Wow, well, as you said, Trent Biddle, he's too relaxed. Moving fast is Champagne. Estabrook now. Rembenskis from the jumper hits. Lead is one again. May the best man win. That's what's gonna happen. Blakely trying to go around Estabrook. He stops. Estabrook's going to time out. Time out. Brockton. 138 left in the game, and the Trojans have come back from at one time, I believe, was a 12 point deficit. It was, yeah, about 12, yes. Right around 12. And your score right here. It was 12 when the, when the third quarter began, when the quarter began. Absolutely. Man, man, this has the atmosphere as a playoff game, man. This is the game living up, lived up to the hype. Lived up, lived up to the hype of the Southeast Conference. So. Absolutely. You never know the way they bracket them. These two teams could meet in the South sectional final. Yes. I, I, would, I, I would expect that. As we see here. You have Rebenskis on the shot. Quiets the crowd. He's, he's made a lot of mid-ranges today, huh? He does. Very fluent. Very... Yeah. Not just athletic, just his mechanics, the way he releases the ball. Nice spin, fluent. Man, is, 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 are the Trojans really three and six? I don't know. They are. Wow. I swear to God. They, they're playing a lot better than that. <laughs> All right, so on the inbound, it will be. Robinson covered by Blakely in the Trojans end. Well, one, again, 138 left in the game. Oh, Robinson over to Blakely, covered by Champagne. Nine seconds, eight seconds on the shot clock. Reed, Robinson with a look, hits. That's big. That was big, that was really big. That was really big. Wow, that was really big, wow. That shot made a big difference. Now it's a two possession game. Robert Bowen is livid. That's not what yeah, he wanted. Here's it was a look. such a good play call by Coach Bowen on the timeout. Good ball movement. And Todd Robinson, he's been doing that all day with the three. Nice. The heart of Coach, he both of them, Doug Alves. And Coach Robert Bowen. I mean, they play. They coach with so much passion. And the girls behind us from Bridgewater Rainham are staying around to watch their, watch their, uh, their boy team. See how they see how they finish. 
little version, as they call back in Bridgewater Raynham, Red Nation. Red Nation. As the girls have not jumped on the bus, they're right behind us cheering on the boys. Down by four now, though. Man, let's see, man, let's see how this final 123 appears to be. Now born. Inside, oh. he can't finish oh, as Bourne had a, he walked right in, almost uncontested, but couldn't finish. One minute remaining. Now Blakely. We're gonna force him to foul, they got yeah, I'm Blakely. Yeah, I'm surprised, I'm surprised they're not fouling it under my book. There's a shot. Fiddle won't go, tipped. I'm gonna say last touch, last touch by Bento. It'll be BR ball. Bridgewater Raynham ball with 43 seconds left. Uh, well, they, well, they do have quite enough time for a couple of baskets. We have a, oh, uh, we have a foul oh. on on Robinson. Oh, now wow. they're in the bonus on the hold. He's gonna go to the one and one. Yeah, Brockton, yeah, Brockton's above the bonus. He hits these two shots. It's big right now. This is big. Bourne's first shot, hits the Good. first. He misses the second, rebound Rembenskis. King thinking about three. Yep. Champagne now goes to his right, trying not to get his pocket Thanks. picked, he looks around. 20 seconds, Estabrook. Champagne shots blocked oh. to cover him from Benskis. Oh, oh. Born. Wow, Champagne for a look. A Won't oh. go. And what is the call? Ooh. They're gonna have a foul on the floor. Yeah. Gonna shove in the back. Let's we'll see what they get to call. Oh, we have two, th um, is this just a change of possession? What was that call? Oh, pushing the back on three. So we had a foul on King for, for Bridgewater Raynham. So that doesn't put the Trojans in the bonus. So we straightened out the problem with the shot clock as far as the total team out, uh, timeouts. On the inbound. Timeout, timeout, wow. Brockton. Brockton got one. Brockton got a timeout. Here's your situation 19.7, 19.6. Here's a replay. Here's the replay. Trapped in the corner. Coach Bowen, smart call. All right, so here's your situation, which you really can't see besides the score right now, 60-57 Brockton. 19.6 tenths of a man, second left. Man, this is gonna be a good 19.6 seconds, huh? I think so. Wow. So let's see what they come out with athletes to end this, basically to end the game. We, we, we don't know what could happen. 
Yeah. Brockton cannot afford another team, cannot afford another team foul right now. They can't afford a team foul and they can't afford a turnover too. Absolutely. So Brockton's gonna go with Reed, Bento, Robinson, Blakely, and Biddle. The Trojans are gonna go with Estabrook, Rembenskis, Blakely, Champagne, and King on the inbound in the Brockton end. No time left on the shot clock and Reed will get fouled. So that will result in the one and one. That'll be on Estabrook. Man, if you're Brockton, you gotta make any free throws. It's it, that's it, it's the free throw game now. They're going to the line. It's a one on one. King, Darty for King. Yeah, there's no reason really to leave anybody in the paint. You're up by three. If he hits these two, he might as well stay back and play defense. Hits the first. Okay. That, 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 that extends the deficit. And he hits wow. the second. That is big. Blakely got a push. He don't have time to play around. He got to shoot it. Rembenskis off the glass, wow. and he does. They score quickly. They do. Timeout, timeout, Trojans. 11.2 tenths of a second Man. left Man, in the game. Play by Bridgewater, rain him to score quickly. Wow. That's what you want to do, right? In Man. transition. Yeah, great, great game we got so far, man. Absolutely. It's a great one. It really is. Two, two bad bloods. Yeah, Mikey, yeah, Mikey Bourne on the, on, the, on the drive, on the dribble a bit. And Rebenskis, he's been doing this all day. A nice feed. Nice feed by Jake As Jack Estabrook. Jack, Jack Estabrook has had a great game so far tonight, too. So the timeout's over. There's a look as Coach Robert Bowen gives his last words of encouragement to and his troops. Yeah, 11 seconds, three points. Inbound pass in the Brockton end. Inbound pass in the Brockton end. Long pass tipped. Oh, wow. Champagne. Rembenskis to two. Oh, wow, what a play. What a play, wow. Timeout, timeout. Bridgewater ran him with 5.4 wow. tenths of a second. Brockton was caught, Brockton was caught lacking a bit. Brockton was caught lacking. Wow. A, scene, a, a series of events. As you look at, now, you, hey, wow. you got a ball game now. Guess what? Man. It's gonna be in, it's gonna be an inbound. Oh, man. Man, let's see this replay. Rebenskis. That's a smart move. On the feed by Champagne. Wow, five point, wow, what a game, wow. Too bad we're not hired by the MIAA. We could have given them a replay on that clock hey, on the yeah. timeout. Oh, Make. Man, the smart, smart, co smart coaching by both of these coaches. Oh, absolutely. Here we go. Five point, five point four tenths of a second, the lead is once, as you can see, 62-61. Man, you gotta... They're gonna go see if they go for the long shot inbound. And they smartly foul Reed. Still one and one situation.
There's the first one, hits the first one. The lead is two. This is big now for Reed. He hits them both. Confident, confident. Timeout, timeout, Brockton. Avon Reed, cool, calm, and collective. Very fluent at the line. He looks so relaxed. Man. He just went, did his business. Man, how could you be relaxed with all this sound? Tension. Oh, tension, sound, yeah. Brockton trying to improve to eight and two, and the Trojans trying to work their way back to 500 at possibly four and six. And here's your situation like we've been doing the, even in the girls game, 4.4 4 tenths of a second left, 64-61 Brockton. Both team with 18 fouls. Brockton has one more timeout. A three-pointer will put us into overtime. Wow, man, the whole overtime will be hectic. And I saw our overtime last week at Bristol Plymouth as they were taking on Sacred Heart. And you know, it's it's Vogue, Vogue Tech ball, and there's still some good athletes at Vogue Tech. And it, uh, Sacred Heart ended up coming back and uh, winning the game in overtime. That's good. So I wonder if I'm bringing this overtime jinx with me, calling these games. And Bridgewater Rainham kind of needs a miracle right now. On the inbound. Champagne, three seconds, he has to shoot. Two, his floater, uh, and it won't go. And Brockton wins. What a game, what a game, what an effort. What effort by both, by all teams, by, by both players and coaches. Wow. Absolutely. What a game. What a great game, great game, effort wow. by the Trojans. We had nothing but respect and love by both of the teams, and in, in, in the rivals, so nothing but respect and love. Great job by both teams, your final score. Here's the last shot, here's a last look at shot. it. That's Quentin Champagne. He wanted the, he was looking for the foul with the three point play, but didn't work. Todd Robinson was too smart for it. Absolutely. For Chris Basil, I'm Dominic Damian. The rest, the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV crew, your score one last time. The boxes improved to eight and two with a 64 to 61 win.